I'm gonna do a quick walk around on this 2003 Mazda B3000. That's a three liter engine. It's a dual sport, extended cab. Uh, it's got the hard bed liner, which I like. Um, it's got the tie downs at the four corners. Um, and if you had to, I guess you can tie down in these holes at the four corners too, but uh, usually that's enough. Uh, anyway, it's got a little dip on it here so you can keep from tearing up your tailgate uh, when you uh, haul lumber or something like that. Um, it's got a backup camera right there. It's got a ball for hauling stuff, and it's actually got the trailer. I've got the wires tucked up under there, but uh, there's trailer wires that you could actually hook to a trailer, and, and I've never done it, so I don't know that they work, but they've got all the wires and the connectors and everything's under there. And all you have to do is plug it in, supposedly. Uh, anyway, it's a chestnut brown color. It looks like it's got some metallic or something in it. Uh, it sparkles in the sun. And there's some rough spots around it because the guy that repainted this thing, it was wrecked and they Re, they redid it, uh, but they didn't do a good job, I don't think. Um, and I used bungee cords and stuff and tied stuff down when I was hauling stuff and kind of scuffed up the paint. Um, so if you want a showroom car, you, this ain't the one for you. Uh, but it runs out good and everything. It serves a great purpose. Uh, it's got the splash guards and everything there. Uh, it's got the alloy wheels. Uh, I've got Michelin tires. They're 80,000 mile tires. I've probably put 55,000 miles on it um, since I bought those tires. So probably another, what, 25,000 more miles on those tires. Uh, and they they handle real good in snow, rain, whatever. Um, I've never had a minute's problem out of it. They stop good and they don't slip and slide, uh, which is good. Um, it's got a little V6 three liter engine. The engine bay is all filthy because I never have cleaned it up or anything. Um, and uh, it doesn't leak oil, doesn't leak transmission fluid, doesn't slip, runs out good. Uh, I think I think you'll like the truck. Um, like I say, it's not perfect, um, and there's I meant to show you some bad spots over here um, where they fixed this fender, but they didn't do a good job. You can see the paint's cracking right there. They, that needs to be rebondoed and repainted or something. Or you can leave it. I've, I've had it like that since I bought it. I bought it like that, so I knew it was there when I bought it, so uh, I, I just need this truck to do what I need it to do. Um, anyway, um, it's got running boards, which is good, so it's got a lot of good options. It's got uh, uh, the fog lamps and everything. I don't know if you noticed that or not, uh, but it's got uh, good fog lamps and everything under there, and that helps. Um, and I've got the high intensity um, headlamps in there, even though the, the whatever you call it, the part of the headlamp that needs to be, um, it's discolored. And I know Sam's or somebody like that will do it and resurface these things for 30 bucks and guarantee it for five years. So I don't know, uh, but uh, I'll probably have that done if I, if I keep the truck. Um, Anyway, it's got power locks, power windows, power mirrors, power brakes, power steering. Um, it's got cruise control, um, seat covers. I put seat covers in it, but the seats are not bad. They were just dirty, and I couldn't get them clean. I, I don't know enough about cleaning to clean them up. Uh, anyway, it cranks up good, runs out good. Uh, this right here is broken, but it, it actually works. You just push that and, and the cruise control will come up. Uh, it actually it actually does work. Uh, I've used the cruise control a lot when I had to travel a lot. Um, it's got the dual air conditioned thing there, max and regular. So uh, I don't know what the difference is. One One's more powerful than the other one. Um, and I put a uh, Kenwood double den stereo system in here. You can uh, plug in uh, iPod, iPad, uh, MP3, uh, just a flash drive, which is what I've got plugged into it. I just, I just got, uh, it's right, it's right here. I just stick a flash drive with a bunch of MP3s on it, um, 
uh, it's got storage there it's got storage here um, it's got the extended cab so you, I just got a bunch of junk that I'll make of my tie down straps and stuff like that um, this uh, stereo um, has like I say it's got navigation so you push and have and you get navigation um, and you can go wherever you know if I want to go somewhere um, let's see I, get, I guess I could say well let's see let me go back um, uh, where to I could say uh, eh, let's say recently found or something like that uh, uh, picnic or something like that I mean it works it works great um, to say go and uh, it does it and when you Quick drive to highlight about. I don't know if you noticed that or not it automatically cuts the music off uh, when it's got a message for you to, to make a turn or something so that works great. It's got uh, Bluetooth uh, built in, and there's the microphone for hands-free calling. Like if you want to go telephone, somebody calls you, you just hit that green phone right there, and it'll it'll do it. Um, also has a backup camera. So if, uh, let's see, um, if I put it in reverse, you got the backup camera. You can kind of see there, and it goes back to whatever you know you're doing. Uh, that works great um, probably want to remove that ball I don't know if you noticed that when I put it in reverse you can see the top of the ball there I'm going to take that ball off probably um, but anyway it works good I've got home link built into this thing so if you want to push that button and the garage door comes down push it again and the garage door goes back up all that's programmed in it's got light advisor uh, <laughs> this this visor, these visors actually come out of a Lincoln Navigator. Uh, they don't match exactly this, but if that bothers you, I've got the original, but they don't have home link, they don't have lighted visor. Uh, I've got it wired into the A-pillar here. Um, but yeah, it, um, it runs out good. Um, you got the power mirrors right here. Um, you just adjust your mirrors or whatever, you know. I don't know if you can see that going around. Um, but it'll do that. And you got power locks, windows. Um, you actually have one touch down. You don't have one touch up. I don't think the passenger, no, the passenger won't do one touch up, up and down. And and the driver only does one touch down. But that's pretty good. I mean, if you drive up to a drive in window or something, you can just hit that button and then get your money out of, the, out of your pocket or something. Keeps you from having to hold it down while you're trying to get your money out. But, um, Everything works great. Just a quick video and uh, good luck on your search.